I love Gaza, but I am angry with everyone. I am angry with the Israelis. I am angry with the Palestinians who are not getting unified together. I'm angry with the international community who is silent and who is not able to force the Israelis to apply justice. I am angry with the injustice of the war. I'm in front of the building of our destroyed office. I'm still panicking from what happened. I am Safwat Al Kahloud, Al Jazeera's Gaza producer, and between us, the violence in May was the worst I have ever experienced. Hamas says that it's fired rockets from Gaza after its deadline for Israeli security forces to withdraw from the Al-Aqsa Mosque compound comes into effect. I realized immediately there will be a strong Israeli response. In 2014, the Israelis, they ended the war by hitting residential buildings. This time, they started with hitting residential buildings. Most of the air strike happening, even when I was on air, I used to stay silent, and these few seconds were the most terrible, terrifying seconds. Where this bombardment? Was it near my home? Is my family okay? Is my family safe? I am a father of seven children, two daughters and five sons. I explained to my kids about the situation. I gave them some instructions that there might be some escalation. I gave them some psychological training, how to behave, how to be together as one family, how to stay together, not to get panicking. You pray God to protect your family, to keep them safe. This is very much scaring for me as a father. At least if something wrong happened, I want to be with them and to die with them. Buildings in Gaza housing media outlets have been evacuated following a warning from the Israeli military. Suddenly the neighbor knocked the door and said he was informed by the Israelis to evacuate the building and we have one hour. We panicked immediately. We, we were shocked. What? Why? Are you kidding? Immediately started grabbing everything possible with us because this is the last time you will see the office. We were terrified, frankly, although we had the chance to leave, but it's a mix of everything. It's a mix of fear, emotion, uh, terror. What we did to deserve that. You had to leave behind you everything, everything. Emotions, experience, career, documents, your life, in one strike, in two strikes, everything became rubble. My colleagues were like my family, my second family. We have been sharing our personal uh, ceremonies, including our happiness and our sadness. It was more than furniture and walls. Everything was lost in few seconds. It's not a media tower and it's not a, a media center. It is a tower that was used by Hamas. I have never seen anything suspicious or strange. Same people frequenting and living in this area. We know each other. We even know what people get for dinner because we could smell the meal through their, their, their kitchen. We would have known if Hamas or any other faction had an operation there. A ceasefire has just taken effect. 65 children are among 233 Palestinians killed in 11 days of bombardment. The children of Gaza are paying the bill of the injustice of the international community and of the Israelis as well. They are the one who lost their future. They are the one who is losing hope. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Children are the most essential element of every society. There is no horizon. There is no hope for them. What do they want from Gaza children? To find another place to live? This is haram. In Gaza there is saying, yesterday is better than today, today is better than tomorrow, because there is no hope. <laughs>